Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Simply Native and it's been a long time. How are you? How have you been? I've been doing really well. I have just been super busy and that's why I've been kind of missing. And now it's time to get back to the makeup and beauty in general, right? And how do you like these earrings? Like, aren't they super cute? I love them so much. As you know, I'm Native American. That's why my name is Simply Native. And, and I got these earrings um, probably, I don't know, I want to say about seven years ago at a powwow. And um, that year I lost the same pair of earrings. So the next year I went to um, the powwow again and I was praying they have these earrings. And I was very surprised when they were actually there. I was like, I need those earrings back. I used to wear these all the time. I came across them in a, like a box of mine, like a jewelry box. And I decided to wear them because I think they're super cute. I am going to do a first impressions video today for you. Uh, first impressions, I have some high end and some drugstore. It's kind of a good mix. Yeah, it's a pretty good mix, honestly. The only thing I don't have new uh, is a bronzer, but I think I might be able to use my blush that I have as a bronzer. So we'll try that out, see how that works. If not, I'll use a new brown, a different bronzer. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I already have my skincare on, so I don't have to worry about that. It's been on for a couple of hours now, and we are going to get started with our primer because this one is hot. This one has been out of stock everywhere and it's all because of this girl, Michaela. Michaela J. This is the palette of my dreams. I'm gonna add lashes. This is stunning. I love how this came out. This palette is a win. Something or other on TikTok. I've been watching her for a long time. She is just blown up. She is so awesome. I don't know if you guys have seen her on TikTok, but she's like one of my favorites. She's a makeup artist. She works at Ulta. She does very intricate makeup. She's not like me where I do just basic makeup. I'm a basic ass bitch. I mean, we're, we're, what are we going to say about that? Like basic, okay? But I do like to do a little bit of artistic stuff here and there. I like to try. Um, and today might be one of those days because we're also going to be doing a first impressions of this. I have never done any makeup with the Melt Cosmetics uh, line at all. I've never tried their makeup ever. So this is a first impressions for me. This is an older palette, it's not brand new. And none, not all of this stuff is brand new. It's just a first impressions for me. So uh, primer, today we're starting out with this guy. And like I said, Michaela J on TikTok made me buy it. This is supposed to be a dupe for it. And I was very surprised to see that this doesn't have any silicone. And I'm very sensitive to silicone, so I shy away from it whenever I can because I will break out horribly from it. This has some really, really good ingredients. I am just flabbergasted. I, I really am. I paid $6.95, I think, $6.95 at Walmart for this. There is absolutely no silicone, so I am super excited because this one is also silicone free and it is my absolute favorite. It's my jam. I am excited to find out if this is um, really a dupe because I'm going to be saving some money. <laughs> this one's only $7 and the other one's $32. Okay, so here we go. Primer. I am breaking out like crazy. It's been really stressful lately. You know, COVID's been stressful in general, but really, it feels really similar. Like, it doesn't have a smell, which is good. I mean, not like a offensive smell. It smells like probably the just the ingredients. And oh my gosh, it like literally feels identical. It really does. Michaela wasn't lying when she said it was feeling, it was identical. It felt identical. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to, this to focus on this, um, the Morphe 2 uh, Skin Tint. This is something I've been wanting to try for a long time too. This one is in the color Hint of Walnut. Now I've lost some of my tan because I haven't really been outside much. I've been locked in a vacancy basically all 
for the past couple of weeks. So I got that. <laughs> I don't know why I've been saying that lately, but Locked in a Vacancy is like a movie. Uh, what's it called? A movie line? A movie whatever. It's from a movie. And it's from The Breakfast Club. I don't know if you have ever watched The Breakfast Club or how old you are, but I could probably recite that movie line by line. Literally, line by line. So anyway, trying that, and I'm also trying this. This, you know, I'm... <laughs> I'm a sponge whore. I love sponges. I love, I don't hardly ever use a foundation brush. I will use a foundation brush to apply something like put it on where I want it to go, but that's pretty pointless in my eyes. So this is the new, this is not new. This is, <laughs> this is a Sephora, um, sponge. It's just the original total coverage sponge and it is squishy. You guys so squishy, like blah, 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 squishy love that because my um nikia joy cosmetics as you know is my all-time favorite it's like my holy grail so i am excited to try this oh boy this looks darker like this looks darker in the pan like look at how dark that looks but hmm weird darker in the pan darker on this glass silly okay i'm gonna definitely gonna have to blend this down Oh yeah, this is quite a bit darker than, it's okay. This is like what I would normally be looking like though, this particular tan color. But look at the coverage, holy cow. Okay, this is gonna be way better than having to not look at anything. Okay, yeah, this is quite a bit darker. However, it's gonna match my chest pretty well. I'm just going to have to really blend it down, but man, the coverage on this is really good. It really feels so lightweight, which is friggin' amazing. Honestly, now I just got to get the right color for winter. This will be, you know, what's the, let's see what the expiration date is. Oh, it's 12 months. So I'll be able to wear this next summer. So that's awesome. I'm going to move on to my concealer. So now I got a new concealer. It is the Too Faced peach peach perfect um matte instant coverage concealer and i got this in shade nudie nudie patootie <laughs> i am gonna use a brush for this because it just looks like it i should i don't want to put my fingers in there oh i picked a good color oh that's super peachy smell holy moly I just dipped in that a little. I'm going to bring this down just a little bit to highlight. And um, this is a matte concealer. And I, as a 44 year old, I really probably shouldn't be wearing a matte concealer, but it, the sweet peach or the peach perfect line in general is pretty hydrating. It's matte, but hydrating, which is weird good at the same time <laughs> I picked a really good color but it definitely is gonna have to be set because it hasn't dried down yet so what a cute package too like it looks identical to NARS except in different pack different color you know different color packaging okay so now we're gonna move on to blush and I wanted to try this for so long the new Patrick Ta. It's not really new. I mean, it's newish, but not brand new. And this one's in color She's So LA. And I've been wanting to try this for the longest. And all my friends are like, I want to buy it, but I don't know if I'm going to like it. And I'm like, well, I, I bought it. I'm going to let you know if I like it. And they keep bugging me. When are you going to put your video out? When are you going to put your video? Out? I'm like, I'm trying to get to it. I promise. <laughs> How do you open this? Uh, oh weird okay oh gosh i got this one it's called she's so la now this is probably pretty dark but this looks so freaking pretty okay so i'm gonna use this cream blush i'm super excited about the cream blush Okay. 
Okay, I've been having to pick up a lot of product though, like a ton. Hmm. Now I'm seeing it. I've had to layer it up quite a bit though. You know, and that's not always a bad thing, you know. We don't want it to be so pigmented that it just uh, can't be worked with. This can definitely be worked with. Definitely will not be, be able to be used as a, as a bronzer though. But boy, that's really pretty. There is a, um, a powder blush underneath here and I'll probably use that a little bit later. And the Patrick Ta was like, mm, 28, 28, I think, something like that. Something crazy like that. <laughs> I get it now. You pull it from the bottom. Okay, guys, you don't pull it from the top. This does, this guy, this, see this like line here is not an opening. You pull it from the bottom. Yeah, see, same thing. Pops it open. Okay, I'm dumb. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so these are, um, this is the new brows. Uh, this is the brows from Patrick Ta. Um, this is the new wax. Ugh, I'm kind of nervous about this. I'm not going to put this on yet because I really want to do my powder first. Um, I have a translucent powder. This one is from Hard Candy. This is brand new. It's their Marilyn Monroe line. I don't know if the like owner of Hard Candy has like an obsession with Marilyn Monroe or, or what, but this is a lo translucent loose setting powder. And to be honest, I've been kind of looking for a replacement. Thanks, Hard Candy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what was I saying? I'm looking for a replacement for my Nakia Joy Cosmetics, and. The only reason is, is that it just is, it's pretty expensive and I have to get it all the way from Australia. I'm just baking her on the areas that, ooh, that is super translucent. No color, what? Ooh, that smells like strawberries. Yum. This has rosehip oil in it too, which is weird for a powder. Um, but I thought that was really cool because, you know, as an oily person or as a dry person, rosehip oil works great for both people. Um, the rosehip oil will help balance an oily person and it will help give hydration to the dry person. Look at how translucent that is. You guys, this smells so good. And it's not like offensive. Like I really have to put my nose up to it. Yeah, we're pretty, we're set pretty well. Like it feels really good. I'm looking like a hot powdery mess right now, but that's okay. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to my Patrick Ta. I keep wanting to pull that top up and it doesn't work that way. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to this one and I'm gonna use the powder blush. I just wanna see how this looks. I should have, what I should have done is just set that blush with this powder. That's what I should have done, but I didn't do that. We still have to do a little bit of bronzer. I can't not have any bronzer on. It's just against the law. <laughs> it's against the law. Okay, I'm gonna use my Sephora Pro palette for, cause it's just sitting right here for my bronzer. This one's in the color medium. Yep, medium. Man, my skin is looking so freaking good. I love it. Okay, so I also do not have a new primer for my eyelids. So I am going to... Hmm. You know what? I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this because it's right here. And I don't normally wear concealer on my lids. I always, always, always use an eye primer. 
You know which one, Urban Decay in the color Eden. But this is so pretty. And it didn't crease under my eye, so hopefully it will stay in place on my lids. I will have to set it though, for sure. Why not, right? Why not just keep it easy? All right, so that's, I'm gonna grab my powder brush to set my eyes. And I'm going to use my translucent powder, this Marilyn Monroe one from Hard Candy. Okay, so that's done. Now, we are moving on to the rose palette. Yay, I'm so excited. Oh gosh, I've been waiting for this and waiting for this and waiting for this because it's about to be fall, y'all. It's about to be fall. And there ain't nothing like a really nice, warm toned palette in the fall. I love purples in the fall too, though. Gorgeous. Look at how pretty that is. Like JH33. And I'm going to start out with the color Antique. It's not like anything I don't ha already have. You know what I mean? I already have shadow shadows and way cheaper shadows than this that work just as good, like my ColourPop shadows. Just like when I bought my Jeffree Star palettes, the um, Conspiracy palette, I was like, oh, this is gonna be life-changing. It wasn't, was not life-changing, you know, and for, for the price, it's like you were expecting a little bit more. You're feeling a little bit disappointed and let down. However, these, I wasn't like, I didn't know what to expect. I just knew that they're supposed to be super pigmented. So, all right, so that's that first color. Now I'm going to go in with, what is this uh, yellow one? Same brush. Use the same brush. Probably one of the more pigmented yellows I've seen. Pretty. All right, so now I'm gonna use a different brush. I'm gonna go in with um, this kind of more flat topped blending brush and I'm just gonna take Antique, blend out that edge. I think I might need a little more yellow on that side. It's looking a little, a little less bright. Ooh, that's so pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with Rust and I'm gonna take a different brush. I'm not gonna use this and I was mainly using this as a edge blending brush. I'm gonna find a smaller, this little guy right here, this little small blending brush and I'm gonna go in with Rust, this one right here. I'm going to keep this right above my actual, like, physical crease. Hmm, I need a different brush. Oh yeah, that's what I needed. I needed something a little bit bigger, a little more firm. I'm gonna go to this side. When I put this darker color on there, I just feel like it's not blending as well as I want it to. I feel like it's grabbing a little, a little bit. It's not terrible. 
but it's also not my favorite. Not my favorite. I feel like I have way better palettes than this. My Robbie Christie palette blows this one out of the water. When it comes to the pigmentation and the blendability, like I ha didn't have to blend nearly this much. I feel like I'm blending a lot, you know, blending. It's just kind of not going anywhere. It's pretty though. I'm not going to lie. It is definitely pretty. Okay. So now I'm going to grab a small detail brush, one like this, just a teeny tiny one. And I'm going to uh, put this in the corners of my eye because I want to do it like a halo eye. Ooh, I should have put down some powder. Dang it. It's okay. Actually, I don't think I'm going to do a halo eye. I think I'm just going to fill this in with the bronzy shade. You know, I need to try this palette again though because you want to know why? I used that um, Too Faced uh, concealer as the base for my eyeshadow. And I never do that. I should have just used my primer. But you live and you learn. I mean, I don't really have a ton of complaints about it. It's just taking a little more work than I would prefer. You know, just a little. And some of us just don't have the time to do that. I mean, you know what I mean? It's just how it goes. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to uh, use this, this color called Red Ox. Yeah, I definitely have to try this, this palette again with my regular primer. I think that's what it is. It's just too, I don't know. It's just too pigmented to not be turning out exactly the way I want it to, you know? Not that this eye look isn't turning out. I'm just saying that I had to do so much blending, you know? It's not performing like I was expecting it to. Yeah, that's ugh, stunning. And I'm gonna use that same little detail brush Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a pencil brush or actually I'm gonna use one of these flat edge brushes. And I'm gonna go in with that mar color, stark brown mar at the end here, second to the end. Okay, so now that that's placed down there, I'm actually gonna blend it out and I'm going to use the antique color, this peachy, peachy shade. I'm gonna use that to blend it. Yeah, that's looking good, looking good. I don't think I'm gonna do anything else at the top. Everything looks blended pretty well. I'm gonna leave it as it is. Leave well enough alone. I'm gonna. Um, go ahead and line my eyes now. First time ever using Wet n Wild's uh, 16 hour, it's called Breakup Proof, Waterproof Retractable Gel Eyeliner. Now, gel eyeliners are my favorite because they literally stay in place all day. And this pencil was $1.98. I remember it very vividly because it was just this morning. <laughs> a dollar 98 like how can you get better than that i got um i'm gonna use the well maybe i'll use the black brown yeah i'm gonna use the black brown i opened up the black but i'm gonna use the black brown so first time ever using these i've never used i have no idea how they perform um but gosh for a dollar 98 even if they didn't work the greatest i mean if you are on a budget and you need to get some liner
my Tati Beauty sponge. Wow, that went on so easy. The true test is though is, um, does it irritate my eyes? And also, does it stay in your waterline? That, this could not be $2. It just, it's, it's blowing my mind. Um, I'm a fan. I mean, just by the ease of use, you know what I mean? Just how easy it went on, how like opaque it is. Like this is dark. Holy crap. I'm just super impressed. Like super duper impressed. Okay. So now, um, I am going to move on to my brows. I'm kind of all over the place. I'm just not, I'm not following my normal routine because I'm sitting here talking to you guys. I haven't talked to you in like a month. Where have you been? Where have I been? Where is everybody at nowadays? Everyone's at home. That's where they are. At freaking home. It's irritating. <laughs> I have a brow brush that I got too because I've been wanting this thing for well, like ever since I saw it. Mainly because it's so pretty, like so pretty. Okay. I mean, it's gorgeous, right? It's the Patrick Ta brow brush. Now I need another brow brush. Like I need a, another freaking hole in my head, but okay. So now I'm not in, entirely sure on how to use this, but I know I saw him like take his brush. I watched a master class of his and he rubs it in this wax like this, okay? He rubs it in the wax. But maybe this one's different. It's so dry. And then he like brushed through the brows like... Is this supposed to be like a soap brow or something, I guess? Hmm, am I doing something wrong? Directions, activate the formula with setting mist or water. I guess I need to read the directions. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Okay, water, setting mist or water. I do have a setting mist. Let's do the maracuja spray. Okay, now. There we go. Now it's working. Okay. It's a little scary. Okay. Upward. Okay, let's try this end. Let's see what this end does. We're gonna do the, this end. It's, I feel like my brows are now stuck to my face. Like, yeah, there is a difference. Like you can see a difference between the two brows, but it literally feels like I have glue on my eyebrows. So, you know, for a natural brow, it's probably not bad. <laughs> but it's definitely not good. There's really not much going on with it. Okay, so probably not going to approve this one. This one's not approved by me. The brush, on the other hand, is amazing. I love the spoolie. It's like nice and firm. And I love this little brush end here. Brows are done. I'm gonna move on to highlighter. We're trying a brand new product from Wet n Wild, another product from Wet n Wild. Halo, it's called the Hello Halo Blush Highlighter. I'm not gonna use the blush part, I'm only using the highlighter. I have way too much blush on as it is. So let's see if we can get this off. What in wild packaging is something to be reckoned with. <laughs> it's always so hard to get open. It's called I Met Someone. 
Whoa. That's pretty. Doesn't have a cast. I don't necessarily think that this other color could be really used as a blush. I feel like it's just a more champagne like highlighter. Yeah, that actually toned it down a little bit. Yeah, let's just highlight your zit, Lisa. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so stupid sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, I think we'll do lips first. Okay, so we have, gosh, I have so many new lips, but I don't know which ones I wanna use. I really wanna try this new Sephora Glossed um, one, but I also wanna try this new ColourPop So Juicy. They're so similar um, in color, but I think I like, for this look, I think I like the Sephora one better. So I'm gonna stick with the Sephora one. I'm gonna use the, I've never used ColourPop lips ever. Um, it's my first time. And I got the color, the B, the Lippy Pencil in BFF3. I knew I was gonna be doing like a brown, more dramatic eye today. So let's just put this on and see what happens. Whoa, that's pretty dark. I like it. Let's throw on this uh, Sephora gloss and see what happens. I'm gonna take this wrapper off. Wow, that was easy. Maybe Wet n Wild should get a clue. <laughs> but I just adore this packaging. Don't you guys? Like, how freaking cute is that? This is called uh, Sephora uh, Gloss, S Sephora Lip Gloss in I mean, I think it's called Sephora Glossed Gloss, and then it's in the color Fly, 120 Fly. I think it matches my eyeshadow perfectly, to be honest. The Sephora Gloss has like a, what kind of smell is that? Like a citrus smell? I like it. I like it. It's not like Fenty. <laughs> it's not on it's not on the Fenty level by any means, but it is definitely good. Definitely not bad. And I think this is ten dollars at Sephora. Ten bucks. Not too bad. So this is my first time ever, and this has been out forever, using the Essence lash princess mascara like very first time ever um i'm excited because a lot of people say that this is amazing including tati which by the way hey tati where are you where you been girl you know it's time to stop hiding behind all the drama you're probably gonna lose some customers and some really loyal subscribers me included I mean I'm not gonna leave or anything I'm not gonna unsubscribe but at the same time it's just kind of ridiculous you know hey this this uh, mascara is actually really good my eyes look so green right now holy smokes probably that uh, the colors the orange colors really orange and purples really make my green eyes show up I have hazel eyes but depending on the color that I'm wearing on my eyes or the color shirt I'm wearing uh, they look a little more green sometimes I actually really <laughs> like this you know what this reminds me of you guys, 
This is a dupe. This is a freaking, oh crap, I just got mascara on my lid, oh well. This is a dupe for like a $28 mascara. This is my, this is my holy grail. One of my absolute holy grails. I've been using this for years and years and years. This is $4, four dollars, five, four, four ninety nine, I think, five dollars. But look at the brush. Okay, so that's that brush, right? This is turning out to be a dupe video, you guys. What the heck? This is the dude. How are those not almost identical? <sighs> I've been spending all this money on this mascara for this long. I could have been using freaking $5 mascara. Ugh! <laughs> what the heck, man? This is so awesome, though. I'm so, I'm so, like, wowed by that. Holy cow. Called Pixie. It's, they're the So Wispy ones. I've never tried the So Wispy ones. Um, and these look so freaking awesome. They're like more flared on the edges. Wow, I don't even have to cut these. Okay, so those are ready. Now I'm gonna get my lash glue ready. My lash glue is right here. I'm really afraid. I hope this doesn't irritate my eyes. Please God, don't let it irritate my eyes. I want it to be a one-stop shop. You know what I mean? Like liner and lash glue all in one. Let's do it. Okay, so now I have that on. Let's do this first eye. Ha! Good luck, Lise. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. You guys, I think I'm gonna cry. That was the easiest I've ever had. Oh my God, that was the easiest I've ever experienced with putting on my lashes. Like literally this lash glue was dry or ready to be put on in like two point two seconds. Oh my God, and they're on. Like, I mean, they're really, they're really on. And they're on, I put them on really well too. I did get really close to my lash line, so there's no, there's no gap. Wow, I, I'm just like, I've had so much good stuff today. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm saving some money. I'm probably spending a little more on other stuff, but not really. Well, I mean, yeah, this is, I think this is a little bit more than regular lash glue, but if I don't have to buy a liquid liner and I only have to buy this and not a lash glue too, then I'm actually saving money. That's real. It is saving money. I'm all about saving the money. Okay. I think that's good. You guys, I've never ever in my entire freaking life, ever in my life, put lashes on that fast. Like I would avoid putting lashes on for work because it would just take too long. I would never get them on just right. The glue wasn't dry fast enough or I put too much glue on. You know, this is just like the, ugh, it's like freaking perfect. And this again was put on so easy. And look at how gorgeous those lashes are. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Probably seems like I'm a little dramatic right now, but I'm not even kidding you. This is so exciting to me. 
oh my god i'm just so excited wow so we've had some hits and we've had some shits and we've you know come a long way since we started because this video has been an hour and 24 minutes long it's a little too long okay it's just a little too long but i'm in love with a lot of products and right now i think i'm pretty much done except for my setting spray i do have a new setting spray too i've never used the anastasia uh beverly hills uh setting sprays and i wanted to try them out so i got this little baby one and it's the little pineapple one i hope it's pineapple scented oh you guys it's adorable it's so cute <laughs> it's like a it's like fun size <laughs> oh my gosh and it's like feels like glass but it's not it's like a hard plastic okay so I'm just gonna shake this up I'm probably gonna be really dewy after this but you guys look at my makeup beforehand look at those lashes oh my god I'm so excited Okay, here we go. Here we go. I don't know that it's pineapple scented. Oh, I need a little bit more. Hold on. There we go. It doesn't, I don't think it really smells like pineapples. Well, maybe a little fruity but I don't feel like it smells like pineapples. I am so impressed. Let, let's just do a quick review of what I am loving and what I'm not loving. Let's start with what I'm not loving because I like to be positive about stuff. Okay, so what I'm not loving, I like to be positive at the end of stuff is what I should say. <laughs> okay, so I'm not loving this brow from Patrick Ta. I mean, it's okay, but I really don't think it's worth the money. Like I have way better products even though the packaging is absolutely gorgeous, it gets full of fingerprints. It doesn't stay looking nice. It's it's okay. What else did I not absolutely love? The rust palette. The rust palette is I'm not I'm not saying it's a bad palette. It's definitely not. But you do have to work with it. Like it's not just super easy. If you're a beginner, you'd probably become really frustrated. Your eye makeup would probably look like absolute shit because you probably aren't experienced enough with blending and you're just gonna spend a ton of time on trying to get it to look right. That's my personal opinion. Now, with that being said, I do have to say I didn't use my regular eye primer. I did use a brand new concealer that I've never used before. So I definitely want to give this another try. Maybe I'll do like a, like a date night going out kind of look with it and film it and see how I like it then. Um, oh shoot, I just remembered. I didn't put any lower mascara on. Okay, we're not done yet. <laughs> Back to the rust palette. I am definitely gonna try this again with another eye primer, my holy grail. Urban Decay Eden Eye Primer. It's definitely beautiful. The colors are beautiful. My look turned out really well. It just took a little work. That's my main complaint about it. Okay, so moving on to what I love. Let's start from the beginning. Love this sponge. Love it. If you're looking for something that's uh, cheaper than the Beauty Blender, but maybe a little higher quality than like the Real Techniques uh, sponge. Now, I don't know how this stands up. I don't know if it's like super durable, like my Nikia Joy Cosmetics sponge, even though I shouldn't use it for six months, I could use it for six months because it's that good. It's just durable and it, it just holds up. The Real Techniques sponges do not hold up like that. They just don't. I know because I used to be a huge fan of those, but I just noticed they started falling apart really easily. Anyway. On to the next one, the Morphe foundation. Now, I didn't get the right color. That's not Morphe's fault, that's my fault. I love this. This is great coverage. It's, um, I don't know how long wearing it is. I mean, we'll have to see. Hopefully it lasts throughout the day. Maybe I'll do a, like a wear test. I'll test out, um, I'm gonna do a wear test actually coming up with this and this uh, side by side and maybe put this on top of it. So. Uh, maybe I'll get the right color though, <laughs> get a, a lighter color. Um, I'll keep this one though so I can kind of use it if I do self tanning and stuff. 
Um, so that was amazing. This is amazing. I love it. It's exactly like my Milk Makeup Hydro Girl Primer. It, um, I don't know. I don't know how it performs yet. I'm going to do a wear test, like I said. But if it performs like the Hydro Grip, I won't be buying the Hydro Grip again. Like, that's expensive. It's $32 for that bottle. Now, yeah, the ounces are probably way different. Let's see here. How many ounces are in this? I'm guessing it's probably one ounce, maybe more. And then this one is one ounce. No, that's definitely got to be more than an ounce. It's probably like two ounces or 1.8 ounces, something like that. Okay, so loved both of those, foundation and primer. Loved the Patrick Ta blush. Love it. What I would have done differently um, in hindsight is by using this and then setting it with the powder um, instead of putting a translucent powder on, on top of it because I kind of lost the blush after I did that and I had to go in pretty heavy with this although it still turned out gorgeous it really did it turned out beautiful I love it I love that blush and the brows I didn't love the brow uh, product but I love this brush I love that it's gorgeous. I love that the brush is nice and firm and I love the thinness of this brush. Like I could probably put in some beautiful brush strokes with that. I just, I'm in love with that. And I kind of knew I was gonna be like, I just knew. <laughs> so, okay, um, lips. Let's go on, oh, let's go to the highlighter and the powder. So both of these approved, love them. I love how translucent this is. I don't know if it gives flashback. And then the highlighter, I mean, I do have texture, so it, it is bringing out a little bit of the texture, but not like horribly. It's not, it's not horrible at all. So yeah, love this. Now, I don't consider this a blush. I, I would never use that as a blush because it didn't even give any like color really. I consider this two highlighters and honestly, they're both beautiful together. I, next time I'm probably gonna mix them together and get this same amount of pigment and it's freaking gorgeous. This is, it's just like a strawberry dream. Like I, it smells like candy. It probably smells like the Jeffree Star powder, what I would imagine it smells like, um, like a cotton candy and it's it smells great. And honestly, my skin looks amazing. I can't say anything bad about it. For $6, it might replace the Nikia Joy Cosmetics powder, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to try it out for a little while to find out, to see if it really does. Okay, the lippy pencil. I think it's a little dark for my look. I wasn't really wanting to go that dark, but it doesn't look bad. I actually really like it a lot. I love how like it's creamy, but yet um, it's creamy and it's opaque. It's really pigmented and yet it doesn't really go anywhere. Like I couldn't like rub my lips together and make it like move to blend in until I put some gloss on the top. And I kind of like that because my lips are probably gonna stay looking like this for a long time. And that's kind of ideal when you're wearing lip gloss. I mean, that's what I like to have happen. So yeah, I'm um, gonna go over these eye pencils. These, I mean, I'd only use the brown one, but I'm guessing the black one's the same. <laughs> I still have liner in my waterline. My eyes, they look really good. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but my eyes are looking really good right now. And normally by this time, even just 30 minutes in, my eyeliner is missing from the bottom. Or if I just have my, uh, my, I just have it tight lined on the top, it'll be down on the bottom. So that's another thing I want to try out with these because I, I don't know if that, if they perform like that, if they will transfer or not, but hoping that they won't lashes and this liner where'd this liner go this liner velour liner i i don't think i could say enough good things about this okay so i'm very i have very very sensitive eyes so sensitive i sometimes cannot wear red pigments or purple pigments or blue pigments on my eyes because they just get very very irritated my eyes will immediately start watering um so that leads me to believe that this is probably made of 
really good products. And although it does have latex in it, this does have latex in it. Um, I'm not irritated and I am actually very sensitive to latex. And this has latex in the second ingredient and I'm not sensitive to it. So if I was, my eyes would be burning out of my head right now. Well, my eyelids would be burning off my head. How about that? Anyway, yes, they would be burning off my head and there it's approved. I mean, it is approved. There's nothing more I can say about it. Lashes went on like a freaking dream. Yeah. And these are absolutely gorgeous. The So Wispy style number is, what did I say? Pixie. The Pixie and the number up in the top up here is 77846. You got to have these in your life. If you love lashes, they're big, they're wispy, they're full. They're just volume and curl. Awesome. It has all of it, all of it, all of it. Um, did I go over the mascara? I didn't go over the mascara, but you already know how I feel about it. It's a dupe for my holy grail. There is no way in hell I will ever purchase that other, per that other mascara again, unless this turns out to be a flaky hot mess. Now, obviously I haven't done a wear test for it. So if it turns out to be a flaky hot mess, I will have to buy my other one because that one does not flake off. It doesn't smudge on me and it's just an amazing mascara and this one I'm praying just praying so I can save some money on this because I, I can also use my Ulta coupons on this where I wouldn't you know I wouldn't be able to do that with the, the Dior they don't carry Dior anyway but you know what I'm saying I can't save any money so this I mean honestly this is adorable like I would travel with this in a heartbeat I'm hoping that it really helps my makeup stay on longer. I don't think that it will, but I do think that if I paired it with my other Holy Grail setting spray, that it would. And I love the sprayer on it. So maybe after this is empty, I get another one and it would be, I could use the other one for traveling with my other Holy Grail. I think that's what I'll probably do because the sprayer on here is really, really nice. And I love the, the locking mechanism on there. I love that because you know, when you're traveling, you want everything to be secure and whatnot. But yeah, that, that, this is for sure it guys. This is the end. This is like tell all be all type of thing where I'm done. Like, we're done guys and i hope you guys had a great time i hope you laughed with me i hope you had just uh maybe an hour i'm hoping i can get this down to an hour <laughs> of a little bit of relaxation and laughter with me because i think in my past videos have been just a little bit too serious and that's just not me i'm not really a serious person i'm more of a have fun tell it like it is I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna tell you what works and what doesn't. And that's why I'm here. That's why I made this channel so I can be honest with you and help you guys save some money too. So I hope to see you next time, guys. I hope you have a great day. Stay safe out there and I'll see you next time.